Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, glory to God. Hallelujah, God bless you. Good morning to you, Church of God by Faith. We want to welcome you to this National Day of Prayer, and we thank God for our 10 days of national consecration for the National Church of God by Faith. And so we say God bless you. Welcome. Once again, I am your host for this national prayer call, uh, Minister Cornelius Dunmore Stark, Church of God by Faith, uh, Gainesville District, under the leadership of presiding bishop James McKnight, Jr. Uh, we thank God for our district elder and superintendent, Willie McKnight, and uh, on Gainesville District. And we thank God for each and every one of you that have uh, humbled yourself to pray and have joined us on this national prayer call and so we're so fired up and on 10 and lit and all of that um, because this is the day that the Lord has made and so we will rejoice and be glad in it and so on this national day of prayer this is a, uh, a rare day because this national day of prayer actually falls within the middle of our 10 days of consecration for the National Church of God by Faith and so here uh, on this uh, Martin Luther King uh, holiday, uh, we thank God for the opportunity to bathe the National Church of God by faith in prayer, to go before the throne of God boldly and confidently to find grace to help in the time of need. And so in this 10 days of consecration, this is our fifth day in these 10 days. And the word for the day is the ephod, glory to God. It is one of the Old Testament um, garments that the priest would wear uh, in rendering service unto God. And so um, we want to pray this morning. The national prayer team has asked that we would pray on this uh, national day of prayer, but fifth day of 10 days of consecration. Pray that we as a church would put on our ephah. Glory to God. And so we would put on our priestly garments. Glory to God. And do the work of priests that God has called us to do. I want to say before we go any further, uh, glory to God, that I'm so glad uh, this morning that we're joined by Elder Willie McGlathan, uh, the man of God, West Region District. Uh, I'm so glad for you, uh, Elder. We thank God for you, and I'm glad that we have a dynamic prayer leader that is on the line. But I want to encourage you yet again that um, we are not spectators, glory to God. We are simply participators we're all on the field glory to God and so no one is on the sideline no one is on the bench here we're all on the field and in play glory to God to cry out to the Lord and so uh, we thank God for Elder McLeathan he simply is going to be at the tip of the spear and direct us as we join him in prayer Leviticus says a five of you shall chase a hundred glory to God Deuteronomy says how can one chase a thousand and two put 10,000 to fly. There's more that can get done when you raise your voice and I raise my voice. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. Glory to God. That's what he was saying. Glory to God. And so as we pray this morning, uh, before we receive uh, Elder William McGlathan, West Region District, uh, let me say this about the ephod. Uh, we, we thank God for uh, the word of the Lord. And I can tell you, you can go in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 30, and you find that uh, the, the women, the, the, the wives, had been taken captive. And David uh, asked that the ephod would be brought to him. And David put the ephod on and sought the Lord. Exodus chapter 23 and 4 reveals to us how it is that the priest uh, it, starting with Aaron, were to be adorned in an ephod, glory to God. But let me say this as I hasten, in the interest of time, glory to God. Jesus has revealed through the Apostle Peter, glory to God, in the uh, book of 1 Peter, chapter number 2. You probably have heard this and you know it, maybe know it well, but in 1 Peter, chapter number 2, and verse 9, it's there where the word of the Lord tells us, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Did you notice there he said you are a royal priesthood? Let me say this, the priest in the Old Testament would put on the ephod. And when God 
saw the man of God in the ephod. God did not see the sin of the man. The ephod covered him. The ephod had the bells and the, the pomegranates woven into the hem. It had precious stones woven into the breastplate. But when God saw the priestly garment, he didn't see the sin of the man. It covered him. And so Romans chapter 13 says, Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Since we are a royal priesthood, God is saying, put on your priestly garments. Put on Jesus. He is the ephod that we are wearing. Put him on. Glory to God and do the work of a priest. Priests bring men to God. Prophets declare God to men. And so God is asking that we, through our uh, national prayer team and through our insight of our bishop, that we would put on our ephod and do the work of priests. We would be going to God. Thank God for bishops. Thank God for our district elders. Thank God for our ruling elders. But you are a priest. So that means the one on the street corner, the one that is dying, the one on your job, your co-worker, bishop is not going to reach them. You are the priest. You are the one. Second century. You are the one that is the priest. Bishop can't do it. Ruling elder can't do it. Pastor can't do it. You are the priest that's going to reach them. Glory to God. So with that, let's receive the man of God. We thank God for you, Elder William McGlathan. Let's receive the man of God and go forward now in Jesus' name. Our Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor on today, God, on this new year. We just thank you again, God, for all that you have done, God. God, we look on, look to you, God, who's coming out here. And I thank you right now, God, that you made us servants of you, God. Lord, as we go out into the streets and highways and byways, Lord, to tell and compel them to come to Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, yes, we are priests. We also to represent God, the people. Teach them. We have to show them, Lord, the goodness of you, God. So, God want to ask you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, to help us to minister into this world, God, as holy priests and royal priests, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we are God's people, Lord, and we are faithful in their priest ministry, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask you right now to help us and guide us in the year 2018, Lord, as we put on the epod, that we just thank you, God, that we are letting people know, God, that you are still alive, Lord. And Lord, we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we realize that we belong to you, God, and we have jo a job to do, God. We have to go out and share the same divine nature, this vision, Lord. We are living stone for you, God. In the name of Jesus, we are in one building, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We are serving in one temple, God. Lord, we ask you right now that Jesus is the source and the center of this unity, Lord. And God, you said, where there is unity, Lord, there is strength, God. In the name of Jesus. So, God, we put our focus and attention out there now, God, that we realize we have so much work to do in this year, new year. 2018, God, so help us, Lord, equip us, Lord, equip our minds, Lord, as we get ready to go out and do the work of you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, so help us, God, so put, we put on our epaw, Lord, we put the blood of Jesus that cover us, Lord, and we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to renew the right spirit in the name of God that is lost, Lord, that don't know you, God have to compel them to come to you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you right now, Lord, before I go in the front, we thank you for our mission right now, God. We thank you for our group and elders, our district superintendent, Lord, and our pastors and elders and ministers, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we all own this team together, God, that we look to you, God, for what's coming out here, Father, but we know all our help comes from you, God. We can't do anything without you, God, because if we focus on ourselves, God, we will only cause division, God. So we 
bless you right now, God. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to be on one accord, God, and go out and, and preach the word of God, Lord. And we thank you right now, God, for uh, our sister picking, Lord. We thank her in the name of Jesus as she is helping us, Lord, and guiding us what to do and what to say, God. But I just thank you, God, for this church of God by faith, God, Lord, that we you have touched our fish, God, and we are moving forward, Lord, with the vision, Lord. Lord, you say without vision, our people will perish, God. But I thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that this leader have a vision, Lord, and we are on board and we following right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you right now for what you're finna do in this year, 2018, God. I'm so excited, God. I can't wait, Lord, to do what you have called us out to do. We are the chosen people, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. We are royal priesthood, Lord. We are a holy nation, God. And we just thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. For you have called us, Lord, out of darkness, Lord, into your marvelous, wonderful light, God. And Lord, I just thank you right now that we show goodness of God as it shows to us, God, that people see nothing but God, Lord, and I thank you in the name of Jesus for all that you have done, Lord. Lord, I speak healing on today, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We ask you right now, Lord, continue, Lord, to look on this nation, Lord. We pray for those that are in high places, Lord. You said we need to pray for them, God, in the name of Jesus, God. So, God, you have bad faith, so, God, and we just thank you right now because we realize only you know the God, hallelujah. We don't know it, but you know the future. And I thank you right now that we, I realize that we are on the right path, Lord. And I thank you for calling us into a holy nation, Lord. I thank you for choosing us, Lord. I thank you for bringing us out of darkness, Lord. I thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that we see the light, Lord, and that you let your light so shine in us, God, so the people can see your light, Lord, in the name of God, and I just thank you right now, God, for what you're about to do right now, God. And we thank you, Lord, for our people, Lord, that have the same mind, Lord, as Christ, Lord. And we put our attention and affection on you, Father. And we walk together, Lord, in you. And we work together in unity. And we put on that deep part. Hallelujah, Lord. That back then in the old testament they said it covered the sin. And the God couldn't see no sin when you have the eat part on us. But God, I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, right now, that he covered us with his blood. And God don't see no sin on us, Lord. But Jesus died on the cross for us, God. Hallelujah, God. And I praise your holy name right now, God. Oh, that you have done, God. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your holy name, Lord. We praise you right now. You said praise Lord, and blessings come down, God. And God, I just thank you right now as we go out and minister into this world as today preachers and raw priesthood, Lord. Lord. And God, people are faithful in their priesthood ministry, Lord. And help us right now, God, in the name of Jesus, so that we can show others the goodness of God. Hallelujah, right now. So thank you for calling us, Lord. Thank you right now in the name of Jesus, because if it hadn't been for you, God, that was on our side, where would we be today, God? We would be lost, Lord. But we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for your Son, hallelujah, that you took on the sins of the world for us, God. And we bless your name right now, God, and we praise you, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, I ask you right now, Lord, continue to help us, Lord, to do your work, God. We just thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we praise you right now, God. We just give you all the praise, God, because all the praise belongs to you. We honor you right now, and we magnify you in holy name, God. God, help us to be holy as you use holy, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And for that, we praise your holy name. In your son, Jesus' name, that we pray. Let every heart say amen and amen. Thank you, 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 Thank
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for his ephod. Thank God for choosing us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said in John chapter 15, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank the Lord. We give God the glory and the honor and the praise. We thank God this morning for this great day of prayer. We thank God for uh, him bringing us to this point, this fifth day of our 10 days of consecration for the National Church of God by faith on this National Day of Prayer. Thank God for Elder William McClayson, our West Region District. Man of God, love you. Thank God for you. We bless you. We say blessings on you and for you. Thank God for uh, the, the prayer. I thank God for the sincerity of the man of God. Uh, I just, I, I felt an overwhelming uh, thankfulness, a, a, a spirit of thanksgiving, an overwhelming thankfulness came over me as the man of God was praying because I thank God that we have been chosen to be royal priests. Glory to God. I thank God that as he said in 1 Peter, he said, you are a chosen, hallelujah, you are a chosen people. Glory to God. A royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It was all the way back in Exodus 28 where God told Moses, he said, these are the garments that you shall make a breastplate, an ephod. He said a robe and a broided coat, a mitre, a girdle. He said they shall make holy garments for Aaron, thy brother, and his sons, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. Glory to God. But I want to say, as he said before, God has told us in Romans chapter 13, uh, that at the end of the chapter, he said, Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put him on. Don him. Put on the Lord Jesus as a robe, as an ephod, because you are a royal priesthood. And so ephod you must put on is Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And so I thank God for it. We thank God for uh, him calling us to be uh, a chosen people, a holy nation, a royal priesthood. Glory to God. And so we thank God for him choosing us. It's not because of anything that we have done. It's not because of any, um, any great thing that we have within us. It's not because of how good we were or that we deserved it. But it's because he chose us to be his priest. He chose us to be those that would minister unto him and that would offer sacrifices for the people. As you prepare to close this time, I feel an overwhelming um, a call of God to declare to you that one of the things that priests would do was minister unto the Lord, but they also offered sacrifices for men. And as I said before, you are the priest. That co-worker that you have on your job, if you're retired, that one that you walk past on the track as you're out exercising or you're on the golf course, Bishop is not going to see them. He is not going to meet them. The superintendent, they're not going to see them. Glory to God. Ministers and pastors, your pastor is not going to see that one. You are the one that is in their path. You are the one that is going to see them week in, week out. And it is you. You are the priest that must stand in the gap 
that must offer an atonement for their sins, that must lovingly catch them by the hand and bring them to the Lord. Glory to God. Priests bring men to God. Prophets, they declare God unto men. So we say, precious people, we say, God bless you. We love you. Join us on our next National Day of Prayer. Let's go forward into our 10 days of consecration. Uh, as many of us gather in service tonight, let's put in what we expect. Let's, put, let's go all in. Hallelujah. We're midway. Let's go all in. Don't stick your toe in. Jump all the way in the pool. Glory to God. Dunk yourself. Immerse yourself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we go deeper and as we go higher and as we emerge from our 10 days of consecration as the priest that God has chosen us to be. God bless you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.